Hello my gorgeous babes out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite green eyeshadow palettes. I think I have nine here because I wanted to make sure I only mentioned palettes that were still available because I do have some really good ones, but they're not so anymore. So I'm going to focus on the ones that you can still get, but I'm a huge lover of green. It's my favorite color. It's my favorite kind of looks to do. So I have acquired a lot of pretty much predominantly green eyeshadow palette so I thought this video would be helpful to all of you who are trying to add some greens to your collection or you're just trying to find that perfect green palette but before we get into this video if you're new here hello welcome my name is Brie and I am just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun colorful makeup content I like to do a lot of indie makeup so if that's what you're into then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family but with that being said let's get into this video my loves welcome i'm excited i love having a reason to talk about green eyeshadows they're my favorite like i love how that looks on my eyes like how i have it right now which i did actually film this look with the unearthly cosmetics uh all i ever wanted volume 2 palette which i did film so i'll have that video either up before this one or after this one but if it's already up i'll link it below and put it up in the corner but I'm just such a huge fan of greens. Like I think it looks so good on the eyes and I just always gravitate to that shade. So because of that, I keep buying pretty much mostly green eyeshadow palettes. So I was like, I wanna make a video to help you guys out if you're just trying to find that perfect green palette to add to your collection. So I think we should just dive in. I'm gonna pull that random. I'm not picking this in any kind of order, but I'm gonna go and start off with an OG classic, which I still think is a good option. This is the Just My Luck palette from ColourPop, which I think they still sell this. I think this is what, $9 or is it $12? I can't fully remember what these little monochromatic palettes go for but it's just such a good standard green palette. You have nine different shades in here to work with from cool tones to more grungy tones. You have a little bit of pastel in there. And I still really like using this. When they first came out with this, I was crazy for this palette. I used it so much because when they first released this, there was not a lot of all monochromatic green palettes out there. And even with that, I still think it's good, even though there's a lot more options out there now. But I still like to use it. I think this is the good color pop formula. You have nice little options. You have like a light green to use as an inner corner. You have some depth. So you can go lighter or darker with this. So if you're someone who doesn't use green a lot and you just want to add something, you want an affordable option, this is a good one. Like this is really good if you're venturing into green shadows because the formula is very easy to work with. Then another one that is affordable that I highly recommend, maybe even more than the ColourPop one, is this one from By Beauty Bay. This is the Earthy palette. This is the 16 shadow one. They also have a 9 pan one and they also have like a 30 one or a 40 pan one. But I think this is the perfect amount and it has so many different tones in this one. You have like a little bit of grungy, you have cool tones, you have some pastels, you have all these beautiful shimmers. I feel like you could do so many different green looks with this because the tones are so different in here from one another and it's actually really good and I think this is only $11. I was really impressed by this palette. The metallics are super foiled. Now the only thing with this palette is you have to and in general with Beauty Bay's formulas you have to go in with the darkest matte first. If you go in with the lighter one and go to the darker one you'll have some patchiness issues. These darker shades do not like to lay on other shadows so I just recommend always going with the dark shadow first if you're using any Beauty Bay palette. And oftentimes this goes on sale, so you could get this even cheaper than $11. And this is such a good affordable option. Then going on to this one right here, which I think is really good for beginners who are getting into green eyeshadows because this one is a more muted green palette. This is the Avocado Toast Palette from BH Cosmetics. This one also has a few neutrals added in. So if you don't want to do an all super intense green look, you can use some of the neutrals like to the crease, add a little green, maybe do a little green pop under the lower lash line. If you're just you don't want to slowly get into introducing greens into your eye looks and then these greens are more muted they're not super intense and super bright so if you're like scared by super bright intense shadows this is perfect i think the formula is really nice bh cosmetics has a really good formula they're also a more affordable brand 
and then i like that there's a few pinks in here so you can go different ways with this like there's a lot of options here and i think it's just such a good beginner's palette then going on to this one right here from huda beauty this is the emerald obsessions palette i think they still have this one i'm pretty sure i probably should have looked this up first before i did this video but i think this is super cute it's a nine pan palette it's pretty similar to the color pot one if i think about it well some of the tones are a little different yeah the tones are a little different but this one has some like brownie greens in here i think this is really good for being like a small curated little fun palette I actually use this quite a bit and I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this one like it's a very underrated I think but it has different tones it's compact it's easy to travel with this is good if you just want to add some greens to your collection and you want it in a compact little form that you can bring around with you to add with like other palettes or you can use this alone because there is depth in here there's even this beautiful pastel which I think performs really well and i just don't know why people don't talk about this one maybe it's because it's an older palette and you know older palettes get forgotten about quite often but i do think this is a really nice one and i do like huda beauty's formula and i know a lot of people said their smaller palettes they don't think were that good but i think all the obsessions palettes were really nice so this is a, a really good green option i love this i've used that so many times and then another smaller palette which this one only has four shades in it but if you're needing just a few greens to add and you want really high quality greens it's this one right here from Juvia's Place. This is the Rebel Army palette. I was so impressed by these greens. There's only four like there's two mattes, two metallics but they're all so good. Now this is you know great if you're looking for deeper like greens this is not very light this is all more mid-tone to deeper greens but if you're looking for some high quality deep green mattes as well as like mid-tone shimmers and greens this is so so good i was very impressed by this palette so if i want to like have some deep greens in a look i will reach for this palette just for these beautiful green mattes they're so good or for these two metallics as well so if you're wanting something a little compact that's on the deeper side or maybe you have a deeper skin tone so you want like deeper greens and you don't want like too many because you don't wear greens that often this is also a very good option for that and then the next palette is from colored rain this is the wealthy sheet palette and i feel like this one was also underrated i didn't see a lot of videos on this one but this is beautiful it's like so gorgeous it has depth it has good range in here and then it has this inner corner highlight that has like a like a green shift to it it's so beautiful in the inner corner or all over the lid or to like pop on top if you want to brighten up a look some more then it has like this limey green one and this like like a yellowy green matte they're beautiful i love the look that i was able to create with this i actually filmed that if you want to see this palette in action i'll link that video below but i just felt like a lot of people didn't talk about this and i felt like it was more on like the affordable end and i think the quality was really good and i feel like this is just perfect if you're you're wanting a small palette too to just add a little bit of greens because you have different kinds of greens in here you have, like, you have a deep green a very warm tone grungy yellowy green you have like a grass green a pea green i mean you have a good amount of matte options and then you have this beautiful shifty one and then this nice like light green metallic so you also cannot go wrong with this one then the next one is from Uden's eye this is the oud palette oh my god guys you don't know how much i love this one i feel like this is very unique like the tones of greens that are in here i don't find a lot in other palettes there's something special about this like this green right here is called luxury it's a black and smoky green and i have not seen that in many palettes i don't think any of the palettes i just showed you had this super smoky green it has little shimmer specks in it and then it has like these shades right here the split pan this one has like a greeny gold shift to it and then it has a little bit of like a like a grayish metallic too to incorporate then it has like this deep brown but this is so beautiful it's one of my favorite little palettes from Uden's eye because it's just like the perfect smoky green eyeshadow palette and i don't feel like you're gonna find these kind of tones 
in a lot of other palettes that are out there especially this smoky green so to me this is a more unique green color story so highly recommend Udensai also has a really good eyeshadow formula their mattes and metallics are both really easy to work with and they just make really like beautiful packaging and beautiful color stories as well so the next palette that i want to mention is one that i almost didn't include and it's because when i was first looking at it, i was like this is not a mostly green or all green eyeshadow palette but then the longer i looked at it i was like yes it is what am i talking about it's just the tones are different in this one but this is the ace Beauté tropical vibes palette and i adore this palette it is so good and beautiful the thing with this is it's more of those like murky grungy tones which are very different from like any of the other palettes I showed you but if I look at them closely they're all green undertones except maybe this yellow one right here and this one's probably like a warm brown but the rest are all greeny brown shades and then you have this teal then you do have like some like golden champagne and then you have this green right here but overall the tones of this lean very green it's just on the grungy side of things and i love greens i love grunge so this just combined two of my loves in this palette and the formula is excellent ace beauté reformulated their eyeshadows and now their mattes are way more pigmented they're very blendable their metallics are a lot more creamy and sparkly they're very similar to the uh, metallics that are in the glam light palette so if you like those shadows you would probably really like the shimmers in here too and i can't tell you enough good things about this palette like i highly recommend it this is so good and one of my favorite murky green palettes that are in my collection then the next palette that i'm going to mention which is no longer available you cannot get this from the brand's website but i had to talk about this palette because i cannot do a video about my favorite green eyeshadow palettes without mentioning this but this is the sweet shop pistachio palette from bh cosmetics and i would have to say this is one of my favorite green palettes like this might be number one because the formula is amazing it's more on the affordable end and i just love this so much so i'm sure you guys up close the packaging i'm sure you've seen this many times over and i just love the gradient like the mattes go from deep to light the shimmers go from deep to light there are some different tones in here then you have light shimmers the shimmers are like super foiled and creamy the mattes are super pigmented and blendable like they're just so good for like mattes and shimmers and i'm just so sad that bh cosmetics doesn't have this anymore and i think it was because they couldn't get the pigments or something like that maybe like they were discontinued i can't fully remember why they couldn't bring this back but i know there's a lot of like reseller sites that sell it like macari and like places like that i think maybe ebay maybe Amazon, I don't know, but you just can't get this from BH's website. So it's no longer a easily accessible product to purchase. That's why I was hesitant to mention it, but I was like, this is a video about my favorite green eyeshadow palettes. I have to mention it. So this is a reminder to all of you that did get this palette that you should use it it is amazing. There are so many monochromatic green palettes coming out and you don't necessarily need them if you have this one or any of the ones that I've mentioned. But I had to include it in this video because it's just that good and special. Then the next palette is from Glam Light, which I love this palette so much. I love that there's so many different tones in here as well. You can really do a lot of different looks with this. You can do something a little bit more tealy green. You can do something a little bit more grungy. You can do something more pastel with this. And then you do have a little bit of neutral. So you have this brown right here. And then you have some of these warm tone like nudie metallics to add to. So I do think that the options in here are really good. The formula is really good. The metallics are super sparkly and pretty. And I really do like Glam Light's formula. I had no issues with this palette. And I just, I love pulling it out because I just have so many good green options in here. And I love the olive shades too, because I'm a sucker for olives. Like that's probably my favorite shade of green to wear, but this is very, very good option highly highly recommend this one too then the last one that i wanted to mention is the give me glow juicy olive palette i use this maybe one time but i felt like i want to use this on camera and do like a full monochromatic green look you guys will have to let me know if you would be interested in seeing something like that but this one is predominantly olive tones so you have to really like olive greens but if you do 
then this is your perfect palette, okay? You have all different depths of olive. So you have this deep one, this mid-tone one, like some lighter ones. You have this beautiful lighter olive metallic and then this more brownie olive shade. So this is perfect for all my olive lovers. And this is why I love it so much because like I said, olives are my favorite type of greens to wear. Like if I was gonna get my bridesmaids dresses, they would be olive green. Like that's that's happening when I get married, but this is really nice. I do like Gimme Glow's formula. Their mattes are very pigmented, so you want to go in with a light hand when you work with these. But they're they're really good shadows, and the metallics are the traditional, very creamy, foiled metallics that just look beautiful and like smooth on the lids. So if you're like someone who suffers from texture, these are a good option because they're like so smooth and they just glide right on your lids like butter and the mats are really nice. You can go deep, you can go light, you can do a lot of olive with this. <laughs> but that was all of the ones that I am going to mention. I try to focus on palettes that were mostly green. I do have other palettes that have a lot of green shades in it, but then it also has a lot of other colors as well. So I tried to focus on the ones that were just mainly green or all green palettes. But I do hope that this video was helpful and showing you some options because I know there's people out there just wanting to find something good that's green or you know, starting to venture into color or, you know, that are overwhelmed by how many options are out there for makeup. I mean, there's just too many options and you never know what's a good one and what's not a good one. And since I've tried so many, I can, you know, give you some good recommendations. At least I feel like I can give you some good recommendations, but you will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried any of these palettes or do you have other green palettes that you would recommend? I would love to hear from all of y'all. And if you're new here and you enjoyed this video, you like a lot of fun, colorful, makeup content you like a lot of stuff in indie makeup then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family i'd love to have you here also don't forget to check out the description below i will have all the palettes linked to where you can find them i have other videos of mine you might be interested in watching i will also link the makeup that i am wearing and i will also have my contact and social media platforms i'm also on instagram as breezy lifestyle and breezy underscore beauty and i do post a lot of different content on there as well so if you're interested in joining my instagram fam i would really really love that guys that was everything thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for being here supporting my channel just being amazing i really appreciate all of y'all and i hope you guys are all doing well hope you're having a wonderful summer so far and i'm just sending you guys all so much light and love but until next time bye guys